Small things amuse small minds. What's happening geeks? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris. Firstly, Happy New Year. If you're like me and nursing a hangover, well, sucked in. We brought that on ourselves, didn't we? Secondly, if you are still awaiting to celebrate New Year's because you're stuck in the past because we're in the future, you've missed fuck all. Nothing's happened. Now today I'm going to be reviewing my latest acquisition to my Batsuit 2.0 based off Ben Affleck's suit in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. So as the video title suggests, and as you saw in the opening skit, they're brand new gauntlets. Now originally I bought a set of Dawn of Justice inspired gauntlets from Tiger Stone FX and they were absolutely amazing. The only thing was they were way too big for me. My forearms weren't big enough to fill out the actual inside of the gauntlets. And being a typical cosplayer and a stickler for accuracy and just being my own worst enemy having severe OCD, I needed something that my forearms could fill out and be flush with the rest of the suit. I managed to find these gauntlets on eBay from GC5FX. I was hoping I get that right because back in the day I was GCSFX, but then I looked and it's GC5. So here's their business card. If it's going to focus, not on my face, there you go. Now, the maker of these and the owner of GC5FX is Christopher L. Robinson. Top first name, buddy. So these are the gauntlets. They're made from urethane. I'm pretty sure it's 40 sure urethane rubber. And as you can see, they're very accurate to Aflex gauntlets. And look, they fit flush with my forearms, which is something I've been looking for for a long time. I originally was going to go with these gloves. They're just tactical gloves and I just painted the bronze knuckles on, but I am going to go for something a bit more streamlined because these are quite bulky with these um, carbon fiber knuckles here. Now the overall fit is just fantastic and they're still flexible so you can move your hands around all you want and they will bend with your forearms and your wrists. And it's just a case of sliding it on first and then sliding the glove over and tucking this part back onto it so it's all flush. Now in terms of customer service, Chris is an amazing guy. His communication skills, customer service are absolutely second to none. There was actually an issue because these are hand sculpted. Chris hand sculpts these. Usually people 3D print this stuff, but no, he went ahead and hand sculpted it and the turnout is absolutely amazing. When I did receive the gauntlets, however, because like I said, they're hand sculpted, uh, the dimensions aren't exactly one-to-one -one with each pair. This one was a little bit tighter, so I asked Chris to be okay if he could make me a thinner casting, sent it back, I paid for shipping and I had it back within two weeks. A brand new one that fits absolutely perfectly and is also just a little bit thinner than this one. Chris was more than happy to provide me with a thinner casting. It wasn't a problem at all. So thanks very much, man. I really appreciate that. And like Tiger Stone FX's gauntlets, the brilliant thing about these is that the fins are also urethane. So they're very convention friendly because with my original bat suit, the fins were actually resin. I remember hitting the floor of Supernova here in Sydney. By the end of the day, the tips had actually broken off from going around in a crowd. But with these, no hassle whatsoever. And I'll just demonstrate taking one off. So you just got to pull it up the slightest bit. Just remove the tactical glove. Alrighty. So there you go. That does require a bit of yanking. That's what she said. And there you go straight off and very flexible and just bounce straight back into shape. And that's the beauty of urethane rubber. And another advantage with urethane as opposed to latex, this stuff doesn't break down or if it is going to, it's going to break down in decades to come. There you go. You can see it's also got a leathery texture to it, just like Affleck's one. It's got the lines here and these ones are battle damage. Chris also does unbattle damage ones, but if you don't specify that, these are the standard ones you'll get, which I dig a lot. I'd love to actually dry brush some bronzing color on there, but I'm not sure exactly how to paint urethane. I will figure that out and hopefully I'll do a video on that. So guys, overall, I can't highly recommend Chris enough from GC5FX. His products are absolutely amazing. I also do have a Batfleck chest emblem that I will be doing a video on as well very shortly. It's actually molded to the grooves of a muscular chest, which is something I wanted because other times 
as if the emblem is flat, it's most likely gonna be flat once it's stuck onto the actual bodysuit. Brilliant product, accurate product, easy to use, easy to wear, fits flush, I'm happy, Chris is the man. I'm giving these guys five geeks out of five. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I'm gonna leave you now with some outdoor shots of these gauntlets in action, just so you can get an idea of the lighting and how they look in different lighting. This is obviously artificial. I'm gonna go outside, it's a nice sunny day, and you can see them nice close up and see that detail. You can see that nice leathery texture. As always, thanks very much for watching, guys. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.